disclaimer, Jennifer and I are not YouTubers. As you can probably tell by the title of the video, my friend and I, Kat, who's in Puerto Rico right now, ah, we're doing this! Decided to do a quick challenge for ourselves. So we're going to be dressing to our favorite reggaeton songs for a week. A week. So the way this is going to work is Kat will be choosing two songs. I will be choosing two songs for a total of four songs. Two plus two is four. Slash four days of outfits. Each day we'll have a song that we will both be using as inspiration for our outfits. And then we will be showing you guys what we come up with. Kat and I will not be disclosing what our ideas are, what our inspiration is, what we pulled it from. Kat could be grabbing inspiration from lyrics. I could be grabbing inspiration from the artist or music video color schemes. That is completely up to us. Let's get started on day one, which is actually my first song pick. Noche de Travesuras by Neil Garcia and Casper Magico, the remake to Hector El Father's Noche de Travesuras. Why did I pick this song? This song perfectly captures my two worlds colliding into one, which is this, you know, very fun outgoing reggaeton side with my former emo kid when they reference lyrics like this. So here's hoping we don't get copyrighted for a four second clip of the song. Please, YouTube. I'm super excited to see what Kat comes up with because I already know it's gonna be very different than the obvious route that I'm kind of taking with this lyric. Let's get started and let's get changed. So I'm sure no one is surprised that I look like this right now. But um, I wanted to talk through some accessories that I'm wearing before I do like the full body view. So these rings are both from The Alley, Chicago. This choker necklace is from Shein. These earrings are also from Shein. I'm gonna show you guys the full fit and we'll talk through that. Wow, so yeah, this is the full body pick. Um, I'm wearing black thigh highs, black booties. Um, this cardigan um, has a pentagram on it, and I've actually owned this for like 10 years. It's been sitting in my closet. Hola! Um, we are starting today this, I don't know what it is, a challenge or lo que sea. COVID, quarantine, we're bored. We're trying to make the most out of this, okay? Stay at home, wear your mask. So today, the first day is Jennifer's song. It is Travesuras. Um, if you know me, you know that I can rant. So I'm gonna try to keep this very brief. But okay, so there's two versions of the song, right? So the original song is like a mix between bachata and reggaeton. Um, so when Jennifer sent me this song, that's what I was drawn to. I was drawn to those like, to La Guitarra in the background and that bachata feel. And when I think of bachata, I think like, you know, you wanna be flowy, I think like colors, it's bachata. Even though like typically bachata songs tend to be depressing, I think of just like the ambience of dancing it. Esto tropical, como que flowy, es emoji con el traje rojo ya bailando. Um, so that inspired the outfit, like la guitarra in the beginning of the song. So with all that said, this is the outfit I chose for day one. this clip so many times that you know what I'm just gonna conclude and say that a main reason why I chose Guayeteo um, is because La Yipeta which was a really big song last year has a lyric in it by Anuel that he actually stole from Guayeteo okay so these are the lyrics from each song so this is La Yipeta So he says, esto es un perreo a lo A-N-U-E-L de Sanuel. He spells out his name. And then, Guayeteo by Yoel Grandi start talk like this. <laughs> so good, no, listen to it. Woo, y'all see that self-control so we didn't get copyrighted. I paused it. Go listen to that song. Tuve que regresar. I realized I didn't explain why I chose the outfit. Um, I blame it on the coffee that I didn't drink this morning, that I'm forgetting what I was supposed to be doing. Um, guayeteo, guayeteo, guayar, means like, at the far. Um, and in the context of reggaeton, when they use it, it means to grind. 
So I just chose like an outfit that I would be ready to participate in such activities um, and that I would feel comfortable in and currently my favorite jeans. So the outfit I chose for today is these earrings, this shirt, these Hey guys, so it is day two. It is Kat's first song pick, and she picked Guayateo by Joely Randi. It's a very 420 friendly song. That being said, I kind of ran with that. You'll see my outfit choice once I change. It gave me a very street, urban, little more hard, stunning reggaeton song, and you'll see that in my fit picks. All right, so this is the full body outfit. I am wearing David's flannel. Thank you, David. I am just wearing an all green, clearly inspired by the song lyrics, 420. Beanie, monochromatic, shout out to the inauguration. And then I am wearing my Adidas platform sambas. Stay tuned for the picture. challenge and it is my turn to pick a song again so i sang cat gargolas by alex gargolas and randy the original not the remix it just came out but uh there's a very obvious theme to the song and you'll see that reflected in what i let inspire my outfit very much centered around the night scene oh, gargoyles are these creatures that you know sit atop the buildings and they fend off evil and that is who she is that night so You'll see that in my fit. All right, guys, so this is the fit. Um, I love this jumpsuit, and I have been looking for an excuse to wear it. But I have it, so here it is. Uh, yeah, this, this jumpsuit's from Nasty Gal. Uh, I have been dying to wear it, like I just said. And to me, this is like perfect for the song because it's like a very bold nighttime statement. It's exactly the kind of, the kind of energy that Garolas gives me. Giving me that Catwoman looming over a building. Vibes, so. Is she gonna go to the club and twerk or is she gonna go save the world? Both of them. You have officially made it to day three. We have officially made it to day three. This was the most challenging for me. And I'll explain um, in just saying that I'm obviously on a limited closet here. So all the clothing items that I had in mind of like, well, I wanna do this outfit, I didn't have with me. So I had to rethink about what route I wanted to go with this song and this outfit. Tusi is my last song choice by Archangel Papi Arca La Mirage. So my outfit for Tusi was inspired by the fact that this was my most played song in 2020 and then also with COVID and everything happened tie-dye became a really big thing in 2020 um so and then the album of arcangel is blue but do see single the cover to it was pink so i wanted to mix like tie-dye it being like uh blue and pink um so that's how this outfit came to be so this was the outfit that i had chosen for Kat's uh, choice today. She picked the song Tusi by Arcangel. Um, super excited that she picked the song because even though I didn't pick it for this challenge, it's one of my favorites too. So getting into my inspo behind my outfit, I have been going with really the first thing that pops into my head when I think of the song. And Tusi, not only from the album cover, but throughout the song and some of the lyrics reference the color pink a lot. So that's kind of what I wanted to go with for my outfit and spoke to the song um and you will see that in the preview once i am dressed 
So I'm literally laughing at myself because I said that I was straying away from the dark colors and then I sat in front of the mirror and I realized I'm still wearing a majority black. Um, oh well. But of course, I did want to tie in the pink that I referenced earlier, um, that the song really kind of just gives me that energy, the, the album cover, artwork, and some of the lyrics in there, the color pink is just referenced. And yeah, Thuzi is like a very fun, playful song that like, honestly, if I was wearing this going to a party somewhere in Miami, Puerto Rico, somewhere warm with a drink in my hand, like by all means, yes. And so yeah, this two piece, I uh, love this halter top right there, detailing. I haven't worn an outfit like this in so long, and so it was nice putting this together. Um, I have no idea what cat would do to this, but we'll see.